Hello Taurus, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is a love reading for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with everyone. Energies can be vice versa. You are taking action, Taurus. You want to move towards somebody or you want somebody to move towards you. Self-reflection, you've taken some time out to decide how you want your life to be different. So with Uranus in your sign right now, in the Zodiac, you are looking for some radical changes and you're not really feeling like the Taurus that you are. <laughs> but what do you want that's radically different? Oh, Taurus, your faith has been shaken. You're feeling like you're in this void. Okay, so no doom and gloom, Taurus. We're not going to allow that. What we're going to see for you is a period of time in your life when you're going to really make different changes in your love life that are going to bring about a lot of happiness for you because you're taking action. You know, you're dancing this beautiful dance. You are, you bring so much to the table. And if there's somebody in your life who just doesn't appreciate you, you know, have faith because you are going to find it in the near future. So let's see. We don't know why we're our camera. There we go. Okay. So we're going to clarify everything, of course, as we always do in our weeklies. So let's see, Taurus, what is going on in your love life. This is going to be a love reading for you and another person. It can be love. It can be friendship. It can be any relationship, but I will read it as if it is a romantic situation. Take it as it resonates. Okay, so let's see. At the bottom of the deck, Taurus, your energy is six of coins. Somebody wants to give to a relationship with you. Somebody wants to, um, you want to give to a relationship with somebody else. You do have fire in your belly to move out of a time of difficulty. Okay, so let's see. The energy and the mutual, the mutual energy in the recent past is a tower card. So there has been some sort of major upheaval, some huge argument, some huge disagreement, or a huge revelation about the nature of your relationship and conflict and what happens. Aries, this is Aries energy. We have Taurus energy. We have Sagittarius energy, and we have Aquarius energy. These are really good. These overall energies are good because it really speaks to the positivity of your outcome. So let's see what we have here is a mutual current energy energy between you and a lover, you and a person for whomever you're asking. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. So you have this committed relationship. Both of you are equally committed to it. Family, friends, really having good times is something that's very important, Taurus, to you and to your significant other. How does your person view the situation as it sits right now? Taurus, your person doesn't know what to think. Two of swords. So they're not thinking anything. They're taking a wait and see attitude. But your person really wants to stay very balanced. They need balance in relationship. The person you're dealing with, Taurus, does not, you know, they're not in this energy of wanting the big shebang. <laughs> you know, it's almost like big bang theory. But there's something that goes on in this relationship that looks like you're trying to heal it. How does your person view you, Taurus? They view you as hard, working, moving forward, slowly, steadily, always making progress, always knowing what you want, having the solutions, not being very braggadocious about it, being pretty humble, Virgo energy, just in there, not concerned about anybody else, always taking a step forward. I do like the energy of Virgo. It's a problem solver of the universe. You know, that's who Virgos are and meticulous and organized and detailed so it does look like your person views you as very stable very successful somebody who always does ultimately what they say they're going to do and they see you as successful in work but they also see you as a person who moves around a bit because the knights move the energy in their heart space taurus is the strength card they have fire in their belly for you that is Leo energy that's taming the beast, that this person is working on themselves. We can see it here, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands. But this person definitely is moving towards you because they're walking into the future. What is it? How they view the relationship unfolding is a sun card. So happiness, joy, making love, having fun. So your person is very, very much on a trajectory here, Taurus, of trying to build something very 
uh, happy, very enjoyable, something that brings a lot of happiness into the relationship, extended family. But the Sun card also, it's about creativity. It's its having fun. It's making love on the beach. It's going to concerts. It's, it's really nurturing the beauty of life as we all perceive it when we're young, living in the moment. Your person wants to live in the moment. They want spontaneity. They want you to kiss them and swoop them off to bed. They want you to be romantic and fun and sassy. And in, they're insatiable for that energy when they get it from you. But it is not fully your responsibility, obviously. You know, nobody's, no one person should have to bring all the fun to the relationship. It should be mutual. What is hidden between the two of you? Low-level egotistical battles. Five of Wands can be competition, but it's typically tr one of you, it's, it's sort of a who has the upper hand, who can say the sassiest thing, who can, it, I think it's a lot of one-upsmanship. Now, it's not very serious because the Five of Wands is usually a friendly poker game. Or it's a friendly football game, you know, like the grudge match that, that the family has every year. You know, it's the it's the guys that meet, you know, that are best friends that play basketball every day. But it's constantly this sort of competition. It's constantly this, I want to win. You know, I'm in it to win it. Very, very self-focused energy, which is not really helpful. Spirit is ha has the advice to you to let the guardian angel Raphael help you in this relationship, that you do have protection, that there's something about this lover's card, it is Gemini energy, that words will become more healing, that the way you communicate will be a lot less difficult. What's the short-term outcome on this timeless reading? Because all readings are timeless unless they're personal. We have the Hierophant. So Taurus, that's your energy. There you are right there in your reading. You're the leader in this relationship. But what we're seeing is that this is a committed relationship with very traditional beliefs. Both of you are in the energy of liking the yin-yang energy of a traditional relationship. You both believe in the roles that you play in this relationship. You're both very similar in terms of your religious beliefs. You're on the same page. It is the energy of stability, steadiness, steadfastness. So let's jump in here, Taurus, and see what the heck is going on with this energy of the tower. Let's see what's going on here. So Spirit, please tell us why there is such a void in this relationship, why Taurus is struggling to keep the faith, what self-reflection Taurus is doing here in terms of what they can bring to the table. But Taurus, you are really in it to win it. I just absolutely am thrilled with this card that you are taking action for your own greater good and happiness and that of the coupledom. Okay, so Taurus, the judgment card reversed. Okay, so what we have here is it looks like a breakup that did not quite happen. Somebody threatened to break up. Somebody said, I'm pulling the plug on this. That's it. I'm walking away. But then they didn't. Okay, because it's reversed. So it does look like something really shocking was said in the recent past. So why would this person, why would Taurus, this could be you, it could be the other person. Self-reflection will tell you the answer. But what is it? What brought about that energy? Heart of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So that's a feminine, that's a queen of pentacles energy reversed. So what we're getting here is a queen of pentacles reversed is somebody who really doesn't want to step up to the table. They don't want to have to do the nurturing. They don't want to be the mommy card. They don't want to have to be out there supporting the world and everybody in it. So whether that's you, that is Capricorn energy, but it, it can refer also to somebody having lost their job or somebody struggling with a job, but somebody who's not really meeting their own goals. What else? We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, I'm holding my deck upside down. All right. Well, that makes a difference, right? Okay. Deck right side up, deck right side up. So we get the Ace of Cups. So you kissed and made up is what I'm seeing. You kissed and made up, you're happy, but why did the tower come down? 
okay, it's a bit equal give and take. So whoever this was in the relationship, Taurus, whether it was you or the other person, this is equal give and take. This is equal give and take. And it's a theme. You feel like you're carrying the biggest part of the burden. But I'm going to caution you that there is a lot of there's a lot of give on the part of the other person. I do think that you're going to have to really puzzle that out for yourself because though you may be feeling taken advantage of, I'm actually seeing both of you giving a lot to this relationship in whatever way, you know, you give individually. So let's see what we have here for the 10 of cups, 10 of cups energy, 10 of cups energy. We have the movement of pentacles. So that's reversed. You're not moving slowly. You're not moving towards that Ten of Cups currently. We get, the, let's see, why are you not moving? That's Virgo energy. That It's the opposite of the Knight of Pentacles here. So nobody's taking any action right now, Taurus, moving forward. The Sun card reversed, okay. So now you're really both in this energy that if you don't have fun, if this relationship doesn't bring you this happiness, this joy, this kind of laughter, the good life, the fun life, the sensuality, the pleasure, both of you are in this very guarded state that you don't care if it goes forward. The moon card says that both of you, you know, your person specifically, uh, is in a state of confusion, Taurus. They don't know what to think, so they're trying not to think anything bad. But the moon card is they're definitely afraid that you're not invested in the relationship. And that is actually Taurus energy. So how invested are you is kind of a question. Two of swords. Oh, my God. They just don't think you are. Your person right now, Taurus, thinks that you could leave at the drop of a hat and that you are not invested. And unless you get what you want, that you're going to take off. Okay, so there's a lot of shattered trust here in this relationship is what I'm seeing. How do they view you? Let's see. The Spirit of Wands. Okay. Spirit of Wands, King of Wands. They view you as fiery and passionate and very kind of sassy and very outspoken. They see you as a person, Taurus, who is um, has a lot of pride, wants their way. Somebody who needs a lot of attention. Excuse me. I hit the base, I hit something under my desk, okay. We have the Empress. Taurus, they do think of you as a very successful person. They do think of you as a person who manifests a great abundance. Your person feels as though you can have the relationship. Let's see what's in their heart space here, five of coins. So your person really loves you, but they feel left in the cold by you. Five of Coins is also Taurus energy. So they feel as though money is an issue in this relationship. An underlying issue in this relationship. It is a tug of war is what I'm seeing. That somebody here who earns a lot of money wants the other person to earn a lot of money and wants the other person the heart of cups. And to, okay, now I'm going to stop. Um, I'm not very happy with what I see. Let me tell you what I see. For those feminine energies who do all the work, typically, most of the work, statistically speaking, the feminine energy is still doing the lion's share of the domestic work. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, Taurus, that there is a partner, you or the other person, in this relationship who totally wants the nurturing and all the traditional values that a feminine energy brings into a relationship, while at the same time holding that person accountable for equal amounts of give and take in money, paying like 50%. So if one person's paying a lot more than the other for the bills, based on the ratio of income that each of you have to the household, that looks like your person is unhappy about it. So it's like there's an inherent unfairness here that I see that somebody has these really strong beliefs about what they want, and this is what they want, and this is what they need. But in the meantime, they want everything that a person who doesn't work as much outside the home can bring to the table. They want all that pleasure. They want all the fun. I feel like a, I'm a dentine or, you know, a Wrigley commercial for gum. Double the pleasure, double the fun. But it doesn't look like they're happy 
with the way things are going financially, the breakdown of what's being spent. For many of you, I think you live, you have a domestic partnership here is what I'm reading. You know, if not, it still shows that to have a domestic partnership, this is what your person wants. So we have the Sun card. You bring them so much happiness, heart of swords. The truth of the matter is, according to the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, this person knows that you are their best option. You're the person they've been happiest with. They know that you are their lover. Look at this, lover's card twice, being protected. So your person really knows. But here we go, Ten of Swords. Oh, have you ever known those people that would never be happy with any one person? Mm, Taurus, you might have, you might be in this energy, Taurus, where either you or the other person is being unreasonable. And actually with that Ten of Swords, that's pretty, that's pretty tough energy. You know, that's really tough energy. So that's almost like a, an emotional betrayal. Innocence of Wands, Page of Wands, being childish, being sneaky. Okay, so whoever the sneaky entity is here, and I don't care which of you that it is, but there's somebody who has secrets, who's very defensive, somebody who's just not as developed in this relationship. And Taurus, it could be you, could be the other person. You're here... You know, you, you do really well in the relationship, and I love my Taurus friends, but there's just something afoot here. I want you to leave comments below and tell me, you know, Taurus isn't typically like this, you know, so it, I feel like it could be the other. But what we have here is that this relationship is going to continue to struggle. Even though both of you are happy, even though both of you have a really, really good life here. This relationship continues to have outbreaks of upsets and arguments, somebody trying to be in control, even when things are happiest. In fact, what I'm seeing here is that right when things are really good, you've had a wonderful day together. It looks like there's one person who has this double energy, self-sabotaging energy. So I'm not going to keep beating this into the ground. You have a person who loves you. You love them. You can, You have all the tools to make this work. And yet, somebody here is very, very controlling. Ten of Coins, we started out. Did we have not have Ten of Coins here? Ten of Cups, okay. So happily ever after, legacy relationship. Spirit is saying that you can have everything you want. Just have to do the work. That that's the advice. Taurus, here's your energy as the outcome. Will you be the determinant? of this relationship okay by coming to the table with a really nice offer but we see you hanged man you haven't made it whoever so what i see here is a lot of stasis there's there's this is going to be a relationship that doesn't end i don't think in the near future i do think that you guys have to solve some problems that are of significance so let's go over to an extended here and let's look at what the bridging energy is here for this extended. Let's look at the basic deck of cards we started with. Let's shuffle out what we think the, the uh, connecting energy is. Spirit, give us a connecting energy to what is going to help our Taurus friends bridge the gap because there is a big money issue, heartfelt issue. Somebody's so detached here in this situation tell us what the bridging energy is money should not be unraveling a really happy relationship ever especially the fact that there's plenty of money there's plenty of money in this connection so let's see the bridging energy is learning eight of pentacles is the bridging energy we have the energy here of learning how to do it better how to work your way into the relationship that you want with the right values Eight of Coins, Virgo energy, being very reliable, being very much in the energy of learning how to get out of toxicity, how to stop expecting or wanting a dream life that you don't really, um, you can have it, and yet you need to learn how, how not to sabotage. Self-reflection is going to be important, as is faith. So let's go ahead here into the extended.